Hello, everybody, and welcome to session six of our program evaluation class. Um, this week will be more conceptual again. There's no R programming at all. Um, there's no DAGs. Um, what we're going to be talking about are ways that your study can go wrong and ways that you can um, interpret the results incorrectly. Um, what we'll mostly be talking about are different threats to what is called validity or how valid your study is. Um, and different things that can cause bias to your results or um, distortions to whatever effect that you're trying to find. Um, so we're going to talk about four different types of bias today um, or four threats to validity. And so if we look at the slides, um, I plan for today we're going to talk about four general categories of validity. There's a whole bunch of other types too that you'll come across, um, but these are kind of the four main ones that we'll be uh, most concerned about in this class. Um, you can look up the others on Google, um, but these are kind of the core four, the, the most um, important to consider when you are evaluating a study um, or an evaluation to see if it's good. Um, so first we'll talk about something called construct validity and then statistical conclusion validity. Um, these are fairly easy ones to, to, to talk about and to, to um, investigate. Um, then we'll talk about internal validity, which is the most complicated of the four that we'll talk about today, um, mostly because there are so many ways a study can be internally invalid and you, many different ways you can find all sorts of bias um, in your results. And so we'll talk about a whole bunch of different ways that um, your findings can go wrong because of internal validity issues. And then finally, we'll talk about external validity or this idea of generalizability. Um, and so that's what we'll do today um, and for this next week. So let's go ahead and get started.